Where does the red fox belong? Red fox, Vulpus vulpus, has this range that stretches across North America and Europe and Asia. And when I was growing up, foxes were just this native species like anything else that was just kind of around. But when I went to forestry school and I started to study wildlife biology, I was told that those red foxes that had been so common where I grew up were actually European foxes. So in North America for thousands of years, there were native red foxes. In the West, there were several subspecies of red foxes, mostly restricted to these montane regions. And in the East, they were really like a species of the far North. They came as far South as what we now call Southern Canada, Northern New England, but not much farther. When Europeans came in the 1700s, they wanted to hunt red foxes. And so they released European red foxes into this continent. To a lesser extent, Europeans also wanted to farm red foxes for fur. And so some North American foxes were captured and semi-domesticated in these fur farms. In the Eastern United States in the following century, red foxes were becoming common in all these areas where they had never been historically. All the way from southern New England down into the southeastern United States, and in the western United States they spread to lower elevations. And so people assumed that these new populations of foxes were not North American foxes, but European red foxes. Now since I was told those things, people have done genetic analyses on red foxes and found that almost all the red foxes in the eastern United States are actually of those native foxes. There are some areas where there's some more European genetics, but in the vast majority of the eastern United States, as habitat changed and as opportunities arose and as some niches were vacated by the loss of other predators, the American foxes naturally spread from their range way in the north of the continent into the south. The story in the western United States is actually really different. Most of the foxes that most people are seeing in lower elevations, mostly from foxes that were captured in eastern Canada and semi-domesticated in these fur farms, and then escaped or were released into the wild and have started crowding out these native populations of foxes.